recipe is going to be a barbecue free range chicken with a truffle mac and cheese, a little bit of barbecue broccoli and a black garlic glaze. For this recipe we're going to need some macaroni, uh, some grated cheese, mozzarella and cheddar, Dijon mustard, some plain flour, milk, butter, shallots, garlic, chives, we've got some tender stem broccoli and some normal broccoli as well, some vegetable oil, a black garlic paste, white wine and dark chicken stock and then of course we need a beautiful free range chicken as well and all the ingredients to make the brine so we've got some salt, a little bit of thyme, lemon and some soy sauce as well. So for this recipe we're going to need a couple of global knives so we've got the Kiritsuki knife and then also from the global little essentials range we've got the utility knife. So we're going to start with our beautiful free range chicken. So we're just using the breast for this recipe. So we're going to use a global utility knife for that. It's a beautiful size, so it's nice and small, which gives us good control when we're deconstructing the chicken. So when we're taking the legs off and taking the breasts off. Next up we need to make our brine. So we're going to start by adding our thyme, our salt, our soy, water and lemon zest to our pan. And we're just going to bring that to the boil just so the salt dissolves. And a great tip for this is you can substitute half the water with ice. So use half the water to boil the brine and then you just add the ice just to chill it so it speeds up that process so you can get it done nice and quickly. Alternatively, you just need to make sure it's nice and chilled in the fridge. We're gonna add our chicken into the brine. I'm gonna brine that for about an hour. And then we're gonna take it out, rinse it off, and then pat it dry. We're gonna vacuum pack it and we're gonna drop it into a preheated water bath at 65 degrees Celsius for an hour and a half. So next up we need to make our truffle mac and cheese. So we're going to bring a pan of water to the boil, add a little bit of salt and then we're going to cook our macaroni for about 10 minutes. Whilst that's cooking we're going to make our roux. So we're going to melt the butter, add the flour to that and just cook that until it thickens and then we're going to add our milk bit by bit. We don't want to add it all together because it'll end up going lumpy so we just beat those lumps out as it comes to the boil. Once the sauce is thickened we're going to add our Dijon mustard and our grated cheeses and we've just had a delivery of beautiful fresh Wiltshire truffles so we're going to get a bit of that in there as well. Now you can see that the cheese has melted and we've got a beautiful stringiness that everybody associates with mac and cheese. And then we need to chop our chives, so we're going to use this beautiful global kiritsuki knife which is great for the job. And we're going to add those with, along with the macaroni to the cheese sauce. We're going to give it a good mix and then we're going to place that into individual serving pots and finish it with the parmesan over the top ready to go in the oven. So to make our broccoli puree we're going to take off the florets from the broccoli. We're going to bring a pan of water to the boil and add a little bit of bicarb and what the bicarb does is it just keeps that beautiful green colour in the broccoli and helps it to cook. We're going to add the broccoli and we're going to cook that for about two minutes and then strain it straight into a blender and we're going to blend it until it's nice and smooth and just to keep that water content in there we can just add a little bit of xanthan gum if you've got it available. If not just blend it until it's nice and smooth and then we set that aside ready for service. So now we need to make our chicken sauce. So first of all, we're gonna peel some shallots and garlic and finely chop those. And then in a large saucepan, we're gonna add a little bit of oil along with our shallots, garlic and thyme. And then we're gonna cook that until it's nicely caramelized. Once it's caramelized, we're gonna add our white wine, reduce it down to a syrup. And then we're gonna add our beautiful roast chicken stock. And then we're gonna reduce that again until it starts to thicken. And then once it's nice and thick, we're gonna just pass that through a sieve ready for service. So when it comes to service for this dish, we need to light our barbecue first and make sure those coals are nice and hot and also preheat the oven to 180 degrees. Then we're gonna trim our tender stem broccoli, season them with a little bit of salt and oil and then we're gonna place that on the barbecue. Next to that, we're gonna place our chicken and just caramelize it up nicely. And whilst the broccoli is cooking, we're gonna brush it with some black garlic paste just to add to that flavor. Whilst everything's barbecuing, we need to pop the mac and cheese in the oven and just cook it for about 10 minutes till it's nice and caramelized on top. Then we're going to finish that with some beautiful fresh English truffle. Make sure the sauce is warm along with the puree and then it comes to plating. So first of all we're going to take our puree and we're going to swoosh that onto the plate. Then we're going to add our broccoli and then we're just going to slice our chicken into two and place that next to the broccoli. We're going to finish the whole dish with the sauce and then we'll serve the mac and cheese on the side. range barbecue chicken with broccoli, black garlic and a truffle mac and cheese on the side and then we paired that with the dough and cutlery range. Mm -hmm. 